Good afternoon, looking at the partly cloudy, even mostly sunny, big tree sky camera up here in Hazeldale. I tell you what, if you look at the visible satellite picture, it really tells a story. Look at the Columbia River and look at that land as it shoots through Portland and notice how it just parts the clouds. Clouds south of the Columbia, still some clouds north of the Columbia, although at this hour, again, it's 1220 right now, much of southwest Washington is clearing out and the cloudiness is even starting to clear as far south as Marion County. Overnight last night, we had the gorge winds pick up. Rooster Rock had some gusts up to about 40, 45 miles per hour. Not that breezy into the metro, but enough to stir the pot, if you will, and boom, clear out these clouds. So very, very lovely indeed. Looks like the toughest spots to clear today will be Salem and also down toward McMinnville. Now overnight tonight, if you live in a calm wind area, you could get foggy again, and then we'll wait and see if we clear out during the day tomorrow. So, um, But it looks like we're going to at least have areas of sun slash areas of clouds from this point forward during this weather pattern, which, remember, stays with us all the way until Monday. I'm talking about the temperature inversion where it's still warmer up top and then colder down at the bottom. But with sun, at least we're warming up into the 40s. Uh, again, Aries Salem still around freezing at this hour. We'll see how you folks do. Uh, I still have us warming next uh, Tuesday up to about 50 degrees or so, and then a chance of some light showers coming in next Wednesday or Thursday. But for now, let's thank the east wind and the gorge that did develop last night. I didn't really think it would, but it did, and we're getting the reward. I'll talk to you soon.